Sorel Garum D. So you're a patient or you're a doctor and you have a lung nodule. What is the probability that that lung nodule represents cancer? That is the question, is it not? What if there was a tool that could help me figure out if a lung nodule was benign or malignant? Well, in fact, there is. It's called the Solitary Pulmonary Nodule Malignancy Risk Calculator. The link is below in the description. So how does this thing work? I simply fill in the parameters that I know, and between the clinical history and the CT report, all this information should be available to you. So let me show you how to use this. I'll use myself. This is my info. I'm 29, male, no family history of cancer, no emphysema, I don't smoke. Let's say I have a four millimeter solid nodule in my right lower lobe. By the way, this is something I see all the time when I'm reading cases. A younger patient has a small nodule in the lower lobes. Let's say there is no speculation. Let's say that I had just one nodule and I hit enter and bam. My probability of that nodule being cancer is 0.056%. Said another way, there's a five out of 10,000 chance that that four millimeter nodule is cancer. So let's try another patient, a more typical patient. Let's say I have a 55-year-old patient who smokes, has emphysema, has a 9mm nodule in the right upper lobe without definitive speculation. Now I do the calculation and the chance of cancer is about 7% or 7 out of 100 chance that this could be cancer. See, now this is a different story. This is exactly the kind of patient where we have to decide what are we going to do to figure out what's going on in this patient. Are we going to do serial CT examinations? Are we going to do functional imaging with a PET CT to see if this nodule is hypermetabolic? Or am I have to go in and do a CT guided biopsy of this lung nodule, get some tissue, send it to the lab, and figure out what's going on? I trust these calculators because it's based on good data. The data takes information from a large cohort or group of patients. It follows those patients over time. It figures out who has lung nodules and of the people that have lung nodules that figured out which ones were benign and which ones were malignant. So it extrapolated that data, it fit it into a mathematical curve that could explain that data, and then took that data and applied it forward. Simply put, it's using the past to predict the future. That is how these calculators work. That's it for this segment. In the next segment, I'm going to talk about what are the next steps in evaluation of a lung nodule which has a reasonable chance of cancer, say 5 to 10%. You're watching Sorel RMD.